It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Mattis writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1820, recorded Thursday, February 25th, 2021. Very, very, very alarming. This episode of the Gizwiz, we've got a new way to add a shelf to a locker, a keychain accessory that's incredible. I have the finale of the drinking gadgets and a brand new webcam. All next on the Gizwiz. It's the same old show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology. Frozen rows of USBs. Growing blowing LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. 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 And here he is. MD Dick D. Bartolo. MD D. Bartolo. That's what I meant to say. How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing good myself. Doing very good. We, How um, are things in your neighborhood? The snow has melted. Um, it was 70 degrees. Uh, it's been very nice. Uh, I was worried that the power might go out because then I would die of a heat stroke instead of freezing to death. <laughs> um, it got that warm that quick? <laughs> it's like it's summertime now. Uh, I mean, seriously, oh it, it's crazy. It's absolutely insane. Um, after kind of fumbling through some of the stuff that happened to my family last week, my mother wrote up an, uh, an email and my mother's maybe the most organized person on earth. And so I have some, I have like a summary of some of the things that happened, um, in Austin and in Dallas. So if you want to hear, if you want to hear yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, like, like, yeah. Like. So, uh, this is across 11 different households. Um, in the Austin area, this is all of her information that she kind of gathered and summarized. So everybody was affected by something. There was some something that they it, they at least had one issue, if not more. Three These are households, all family homes, eleven family. Yeah, this is across. Yeah, yeah okay. my family, extended family, friends that we look after, that sort of thing. Um, so everyone had at least one issue. Three households went without power for seventy-two or more hours. And that includes a 91-year-old grandmother. Oh. Uh, one household was without power for 48 hours and later 24 hours uh, at a second time. Um, six households had rolling power outages, so they would last from 20 minutes to four hours. Four households went 48 hours without water of any type. Oh. Um, for one of these, the pipes burst, uh, another one, uh, this house was without water for six days when the plumber finally was able to fix, uh, fix the oh pipes on Tuesday. Gosh. They still don't have hot water because, uh, one, so not only did the pipes burst, they burst in a few different areas. So the hot water is still out of commission. Um, all of Austin and the surrounding area was under a boil water notice. Uh, for those who actually had water, uh, for five days. Uh, and then some stories that I forgot to mention. Um, EMS was called for one of my family members, and the ambulance got stuck in the driveway trying to leave the home um, once, you know, that was all sorted out. Uh, and the family members had to get the EMS truck unstuck, like, by pushing it. <laughs> And, and oh the person God. who the EMS was called for is is fine, is, is okay. Oh, good. And then, of course, also no trash for the whole time. So, so everyone has trash oh. piling up in their homes and garages. Um, so, yeah. So oh, that's my just a, gosh. <laughs> a summary. Unbel unbelievable. You know, just before we w were getting ready to go on, they do news headlines. And one of them was uh, – Texas was three minutes from the entire grid shutting down. Did you hear that? <sighs> I that would make so much sense. Uh, that would it, it evidently is from hearings today that <sighs> every, the entire state would have been out of power probably for a very long time. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, that does not surprise me at all. There's also crazy stuff where um, 
there's apparently, so the energy market in Texas is much more open and unregulated and that there's a service called Gritty where you can buy wholesale power. So in general, normally you're buying the cheapest power available, but when all these power outages happened, ERCOT, which is the, um, you know, the whole grid, they set the, the cost of power at $9 a kilowatt hour which normally it's like nine cents, nine, nine to 13, like 20 cents would be the max. So $9 a kilowatt hour. And so people have like $17,000 bills for power oh because gosh. they were just getting charged the absolute max for, uh, <laughs> for their power. Um, so yeah, oh my it's, gosh. it was, <laughs> it's been, <laughs> It's it's been definitely. Uh, no, I'm not going to make so much fun of Con Ed. Well, I'll still make fun of Con. Ed. <laughs> exactly, uh. exactly, <laughs> exactly. So, holy moly! But wow. All that being said, um, most of the folks, I, I think everyone that I know of that had pipes burst and had um, issues, they have water back. They may not have hot water, but they have water. So, shout out to the plumbers out there. Um, who uh, have gotten this all fixed for yeah, us. Yeah, no, it's great. It's great. I even uh, on television heard about some plumbers in New Jersey who, who just loaded up vans with tons of plumbing supplies and drove to Texas and started helping people out. That's great. I mean, so, that's yeah. thanks to y'all because we all needed it. Um, <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. And also, you know, it's it's like reciprocal. Um, uh, uh, during 9-11, that day we heard on the radio that they needed dog food. So we bought a ton of dog food and we went down. They, they'd made the Javits sent to a place to, <clears throat> to leave stuff since they didn't want anybody going downtown. Um, but I saw huge uh, meat trucks from a couple from Texas oh, wow. just pull up in front of the Javits and set oh, up so barbecues. Crazy. And just start cooking for everybody. Yeah. So I mean, a it was local an place, sounding thing. Uh, yeah. Well, that I, I hadn't heard of that, but that and that's awesome. Um, uh, something that recently happened was everyone's power was out, and so what what was happening was all of the local restaurants were communicating with each other, and. All their, before all their meat spoiled, well, first off, you could have just put it outside. <laughs> but <laughs> but um, what they were doing was um, there was one restaurant that was like, it, everything is free, free food. Come to the restaurant, pick up food if you can. If you brave the, the, the roads, you can. Um, and so all the other restaurants who couldn't open because the power was out started donating food to that other restaurant and they started just giving out free food. They, you know, burgers came from Culver's and they just made them up and w would give them away. Oh, it was, great. that was really cool to see, yeah. um, you know, kind of the community coming together, you know. No, the, the country seems to do better during emergencies. People, <laughs> right. just, people just throw all, right. eight, everything and they just, Pitch in and do right. stuff. So. Uh, it, it takes all the monotony away of, you know, I don't yes. like you because of your, you know, hair. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, exactly. everyone just kind of focuses on what's what matters. Mm. So, yeah. Anyway, um, how, right. how, how have you been this last week? Uh, this uh, last week, absolutely nothing important uh, happening. Uh, actually, it was a boring week. So all right, that, yeah. that's all right. Yeah. We're wow. coming up to one year without having a convention, so yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> anyway, there's yeah. always buying stuff on Amazon. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> anyway. And let's take a look at one of those things. Here we go. It's another. What the heck is it? Uh, um, a broom. The name. Uh, wait, no. Um, uh, <laughs> any idea? Is it a locker made shelf extender? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait a second. Evidently, I couldn't cover <laughs> every. Wow, <one>. you're <laughs> good. It kind of looks like a milk crate. It does. All right, so this is the. Let me look at it again. 
This is the locker mate adjust a shelf. All right. <laughs> and we're going to, I don't have a locker here, but I cleaned out one of my little bookshelves so you can get an idea of what it's like. So let's go over to the area here and I'll show you what it looks like when you get it. I got it on Amazon. Okay, locker mates, adjust the shelf, fit standard lockers. It's really made for those steel lockers where you need more space. Okay, they're usually tall and long. Uh, position at any height. So we're going to, can you see clearly in there? Mm -hmm. Is that enough light? Okay. Uh, all right. Easy to install. Place the shelf in the locker at the desired height with the rubber pads toward the side walls. Hold the shelf level with one hand. Turn the cam underneath in the direction of lock. All right. So let me here look on the bottom here. Oh. Lock goes this way. Okay. So this is, uh, 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 I guess I'm going to turn it a little bit here first so that we don't have to do it all inside here. Me a little more. Okay, so you would get it here. I have to put up here because for some reason this bookcase has notches here. So it has to go, I, actually I'll put it down below the notches and you'll get a better idea, all right? So you hold it in place where you want it to stay and you click it around. And that's it. Okay. It has rubber feet. Oh, that's cool. And now you have an extra shelf in your locker. It comes in uh, lots of colors. Not lots of colors, but I think I saw red, black, uh, and pink and something else. That's it. And let me get the box again. Adjust the, se adjust the shelf expandable locker shelf. That's it. The kids whiz. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I like that color, Dick. I think that that uh, I think it would match, you know, lip gloss or yeah. Pom -poms well, I bought a, I bought a red one and a black one, <laughs> and I started with the black one, but then I realized you really can't see that big knob uh -huh. on the bottom. So I I said to Dennis, let's let's just shoot this with the red one because people can see that big knob. And it it uh, I sent you a link to the Amazon. Uh, I it, it's under ten bucks. Nice. I think yeah. um there it is. Yeah, nine ninety nine and it comes in red and it does come in pink for some reason I and blue. I think you may have gotten pink. I'm not seeing a red. I'm seeing pink and oh, new okay. version. Maybe pink. it is pink. It is, yeah, I guess it is pink. Well what how could what's the what nine dollars? What's the one that's ten dollars? <laughs> it's also pink. <laughs> I don't know. It's called uh, new so the nine dollar is dot new version dash pink, and then the pink one is just <laughs> pink, <laughs> and it costs a dollar extra. A dollar extra. Um, very descriptive. With uh, the <laughs> who knows? That, that is a, that but if is you a want, ride. if you want, you look. You can get just new version. That's eight ninety nine. That's the cheapest <laughs> ones yet. Uh, it's going penny. down it they're going down in price. <laughs> or you can get black for a dollar more. That's um, right. Somebody needs to work on their metadata. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No. Exactly. What's going on here. Um but you know, if, if you're still going to work and you have a locker and you need an extra shelf, um, it's a pretty easy way to do it. I mean, yeah. I certainly wouldn't stack it with books. But I mean, if you put a couple books in there, and, and well, you know, crap. It's great. Right. For, oh, yeah, interesting. They're showing or we're looking at stuff on Amazon where people just put it in cupboards. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. This is a great little divider. Um, yeah, I think that's nice uh, for for uh, whatever price you pay. Eight ninety nine all the way up to ten dollars. It's a good price. Yeah, I think so too. Lock a mate. Uh, just a shelf. Um, okay, gadget number two uh, solved a problem for me, and this is it. I've been having trouble with my wedding ring falling off, okay? I'll show you. You just, you just, you. 
<laughs> okay, the reason it's not falling off is I have already applied the solution, okay? When it started falling off, I went on Amazon, and I found the Leica Mir ring size. Like a Mar. Like a Mar, okay. The Leica Mar ring size adjuster. And this is what it is, okay? It's a kit with eight different sizes, okay? And let me show you what I already have it. See, looking at my ring, you don't even notice it's on there. It is a little, see, I have it in here. And I'm just going to, there it is. So you just put that on. And now the ring fits really tight. And it was so loose, I thought I lost it one day, and it just turned out it had fallen off in the shower. So this helps a lot. So uh, FDA-approved material, safe to use on skin. I certainly hope so. <laughs> Thankfully. Um, soft and comfortable to wear, invisible and unbreakable. Worse with big knuckles. You know, is he around? Big knuckles. Hey, Big Knuckles. Well, Big isn't here, but uh, we did it without him. And also, this is in the kit. This is double stick tape. And the instructions say, if you, if the ring is still loose, cut the double stick tape into strips and then put the strip of tape inside the groove and then put it on the ring. Okay, so that will make the uh, ring tighter. I think it's it's great. Very easy to use. This is also in there. I don't know why you want, want to polish your silver when you're done, but you get uh, a cloth in there. That's it. The Leica Mar 8-piece ring sizer adjuster kit on Amazon. Ah, 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 not falling off. <laughs> Well, my ring is titanium. I guess a lot of people have silver rings, so they might want, like that polishing cloth. And that too is under ten bucks. Yeah, I'm glad it's safe for skin, and it didn't say please only use with hot dogs or something like that. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Well, then they have this other there version. There were other too. weird ones. Weird. I, I, that looks strange to me. <laughs> to put that doesn't this whole look comfortable. Coil. <laughs> Doesn't that look weird? Yeah, that does not look comfortable to me. Um, no. Huh. That is weird. Um, yeah, I like what you got a lot better. Uh, yeah, like a mar. Like, like a, a mar. mar. Um, yeah, that's cool. I had never, I'd never known about a gadget like this that could even, uh, that could do this. It makes so much sense. It, uh, you know, I saw it on Amazon, and then people said, well, you take string, a, a, a thread, and you wrap it and wrap it and wrap it around the part you don't see and put it at the bottom of your finger. And then when I saw these, I thought, wait, these things are clear. And I bet a lot more comfortable, too. A lot more comfortable. <laughs> Look at that ring thing. That yeah. is bizarre. Yeah, I don't really like that ring thing. If only it could also make rings larger. I don't know. That's. Oh, yeah, that's. I don't know. <laughs> what if my finger's uh, too big? <laughs> Can I wrap uh, that around my go, finger? Go to, and... the, uh, uh, go to the vice department. Right, exactly. <laughs> it's painful, but it, it just. But might it's permanent. Work. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Under $10 for uh, Under if you want the. the, the the uh, someone mentioned it looked like fingernails. The fingernail version or the weird wrappy version. Either oh, either it, it one. Does, it does. It does look like cut fingernails. You're There's absolutely right. That's said. very funny. That's yeah. very funny. Uh, Scooter um, X has found it, of course. On, oh, uh, on yeah, what three cents? Uh, cool. Uh, no, well, well, it's it's here for a penny, but uh, I, I don't think that's a penny. A penny. What? I'm trying. <laughs> Try to figure out how, why is it not a penny? Is it really a penny? Do I have to buy a million of them? How is what this a penny? Is uh, it because I'm getting a coupon? Oh, oh, a penny. But yeah, it, that's a new so user you get, bonus. You get 1% off. Oh, I, I see that. But, but there's a new user bonus applied. I think it's, I think, you know, I think it's 340 or, 
Um, Scooter oh, X oh, mentioned that it was two, oh, oh, oh. $2.46 in chats, but still $2.46. Um, so there you go. Oh, yeah. If you, if you don't, if you're not in a hurry and you can wait 30 to 50 days, they yeah. have there for the shipping. Yes, they do. They do. But if you pay the extra $5, you can have them tomorrow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's a good gadget. Yeah. Uh, and our third gadget is this one. I asked it's Dennis a year this month there have been no trade shows. I mean, it was a great place to make videos and find new gadgets. So looking for gadgets, I thought, let me type in Amazon top selling gadgets under $25. We do have a budget. Top selling gadgets under $25. All right. So we're going to ask our cameraman, Dennis, what he thinks this top selling gadget under $25 might A Tamagotchi! Be. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> it's some kind of keychain, right? With an alarm on it? Oh, very good. Is yes. It, it is? It oh. is. Okay. Oh. It is an alarm. And, you know, I'm going to... Let me get out my handkerchief. It's, it's a 140 decibel alarm, which is loud. So, basically... It's for kids, for anybody who goes places where they might want to attract attention if they feel in danger. And it's, I mean, it's bare bones. All you do is you pull this out and it's a 140 decibel alarm. Okay. It will run for 30 minutes unless you put the pin back in. All right. And you can replace the batteries. The batteries, I guess it shuts off after 30 minutes because it said a set of batteries, which are replaceable, is good for up to 90 minutes. And then there's a little handy dandy uh, LED light in there. And for some reason, <laughs> that's where they decided to save on battery life is because it's momentary. You can't push it in and have it stay on. I guess that's okay. Is there a name to it? Uh, we're going to go to the board in a minute, and I just wanted you to take a look at it. Mm -hmm. All right, so now let's go over here. Oh, what what do you think this might cost? Um, $20? Uh, you're very good. Okay, $21 mm. for... How many? Oh. A Seven. What? What? In every Can you, I couldn't color. believe this. Look at what? this. I mean. Uh, you know, if you wanted to sell them at the corner it's store. Seven? You have to live in a really terrible neighborhood to need seven of these. <laughs> put, them, um, put them on each shoe. <laughs> they should have had it on a chain or something connected to um, it. Oh, that is interesting. Right. Yes. Yeah. Um, you can get to 280 anyway, decibels. I, I, so that... Like three dollars each, and that they are rather nicely made, mm -hmm. and, and in a lot of great colors. Well, let's look at the uh, thing here. Okay, hundred and forty decibels. I'm going to try and turn this up a little bit so I can read it. And it's so funny. I'm so used to touch screens that this is not a touch screen. Let me push this up now. It's just called the personal alarm for women. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, you can't use a dick. Security okay. alarm, keychain with LED light for women, kids, and elders. Men, you're oh. out. <laughs> okay. <Sorry. laughs> Just women, <laughs> kids, and elders. A seven pack for twenty one dollars. Yep, three bucks each. Um, and it got four and a half out of five stars. And those are all the colors that you get. Oh, there it is. Is it Talker? T A I. K E R. Taker? Where are you looking? On on each oh, thing. I can't remember. I guess it's Taker, right? That's a bad uh, name. Pretty neat. So if you want a bare bones alarm with a little LED light uh, to give somebody to make noise. And, and and it's so annoying that I do think someone would run away not only from fear, but maybe maybe if You'd be better if you're wearing your headphones or earplugs uh, when you carry this around because they are loud. 140 decibels is super loud. 
Okay, that is that is quite the interesting gadget. I don't get why they send you seven. Uh, you know, it, and it's very funny. Can you go back to their page because then they go up in price. See, uh, three of them is twelve dollars, <laughs> so that's four dollars each. Yeah. Seven yeah. is twenty one dollars. That's three dollars each. Then they offer a bigger package down toward the bottom, where you can. Uh, oh, well, there oh you gosh, go. Here we are. A you ten can get pack. ten for thirty-three dollars, but now they've gone up to three dollars and thirty cents each. Huh. Well, the so, sweet spot is the seven pack. Yeah, the the best buy is the seven pack. I mean, I don't know why you need seven of them. Match um, your outfit, you know. Uh, but yeah, oh, also, I love. There's a uh, a section here on that ad. It's called warm notices. And I, I think it's supposed to be warning notices, not oh, warm, gosh. not warm. When testing the alarm, keep your hand on your ear to avoid membrane injury. Oh okay. My gosh. Yeah. Just don't be holding the one that you're testing uh, <laughs> right. against your ear. Okay. <laughs> um, number two, when testing the LED light, do not aim it at your eyes to prevent bright lights. All right. Okay. Okay. And my mm. favorite, this product is not absolutely waterproof. Please keep it dry instead of putting it in water. <laughs> Please don't just dunk it in water. If you would, that'd be. Don't put it in water, uh, oh whatever you gosh. do. Well, um, of course, Scooter X is at it again. Oh, oh my gosh. You want it for now? two bucks? Oh, and shipping is, is wait, it's higher. Wait a higher. second. Wait a second. Alibaba has failed us. If you find one us. of them, you're really out of luck. Yeah, and it'll arrive in three months. Um, so You'll yeah, be mugged so no, eight times by then. Yeah, a Amazon. Amazon this one. You'll get seven of them, but maybe you can, you know, hand them out. In all colors. That is mm. awesome. Well, that's and they run, and their batteries are replaceable. It's uh, three uh, LR44 batteries. Nice. But I mean... You're going to use the batteries very, hopefully, maybe never. Right. Right. That's no. <laughs> when you buy a gadget and you hope you never use it. <laughs> That's it. There you go. You're just, you're glad that you do have it. Right. I, I do think it would scare someone away. Oh, I, heck I mean, yeah. it, it's ear piercing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, definitely. I, I, I used to. Uh, carry one of these for camping to like scare off bears and that sort of thing. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah, no, I remember accidentally pulling the pin on it once, and it was so loud. Um, yeah, it, you, I think that that would definitely deter someone, especially if you did it early. Uh, you know, don't wait till you get attacked. If you feel like something shady is going on, just pull it before they even get close. Um, so that's mm. good. Awesome. And in one of the ads on Amazon, it says oh, elderly people can use it if they have fallen. Mm -hmm. so I, it's got, I think it's going to drive people away rather than <laughs> let's go help that lady with the ear piercing gadget in her hand. But, Maybe if you needed to get your neighbor's attention or something like that. That would, if, that would be it. That yeah. actually would be it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, that's it. Personal if you fall alarm, in the middle of the grocery alarm. store, you may not need to pull the pin on that one. Uh, yeah, you're right. Um, <clears throat> okay. With uh, that. That brings us to our final February drinking no, no, cheap gadget. You might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Get it. So... Uh, we have a finale. It's like when the fireworks go off at the end and there's like so many yeah. fireworks. Well, it's because I have three gadgets to talk about. So I recorded all three of them. So let's jump in. Hey, Diggy D. So here we are with the final week of drinking gadgets. And to round out the month, I decided I would do a three for one. All of these Ooh. are in the theme of camping. A little bit. So we have the final straw, which is a very fancy reusable straw. We have the pocket cocktails and we have this pour over coffee. And these two right here are really for like backpacking. So they're lightweight, 
um, and can be easily traveled with. So let's start off with the final straw. This cost around $20. It comes in a few different colors. You can see the colors over here, you know, beneath the turtle shell. And it mentions a few of its, uh, you know, features that it is a foldable straw. Uh, it comes in a really nice case and that it has a cleaning brush included. So let's open up the packaging. And here it is <clears throat> outside of the packaging. By the way, this color, if you would like to get it yourself, is um, shark butt gray. So if you're wondering what gray this was, it's the gray of a shark butt, uh, just in case you, you, you know, mm -hmm. you're curious. Mm -hmm. Thank so, God it's not it a is. food this item. Is straw. <laughs> Woo, there we go. It's like a tent pole. And it is, it's inside is a stretchy sort of straw. And then it clips together with the force of the silicone throughout. Also inside of here is a cleaning brush. See, how does this come out? Get out of here, cleaning brush. There we go. So you have a cleaning brush. It is telescopic. So you could put it down at least half and then aim for the other half as well. And then that goes right in here into the case. And you can just store that away. That's kind of nice. Oh, it's nice. Let me get my water, see if it works. I didn't clean this, but I'm not too, too worried. It's not working. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> it doesn't work. Did you leave the cleaning brush in it? Oh my! Oh my gosh! <laughs> it really doesn't work. That's oh my god! Look, there's a kink what? in it right there. I need to like squeeze this kink out. There we go. One over here. I think it was from here, storage. Here yeah. Okay. There we go. Now it's working. Okay. <clears throat> It is a straw. It works just like a straw. There you go. Uh, when you're ready to fold it up, you would pull it apart, fold it on top of itself, fold it apart on top of itself, and then put it back into this handy dandy carrying case. There we go. Just like so. Is there a magnet? Yeah, there's magnets on the top, it looks like, to keep it closed. Oh, wow. Those are right there at the top. And there you go. The last straw, the final straw, actually. Uh, the final straw you'll ever need, that is final straw. It does come with a little keychain on the back so you can carry it around. Very small and compact packaging. I've seen other reusable straws way larger in size. So this is nice that it still has the silicone uh, so that it can be folded up and unfolded. And then it has the metal so that it is Oh my gosh, it is quite difficult to get out the second time around. There we go. It has the metal to keep it nice and sturdy. And uh, then, of course, it can be packed away and cleaned. So there you go, final straw. Now on to the pocket cocktails. So this is basically dehydrated cocktail mix. The one that I ended up getting was Bloody Mary. And so uh, let me just read the instructions on the back here. Uh, tear, use the tear line. To open the satchel, pour the crystals into an empty bottle or shaker. Uh, then using the indicated fill line, fill the satchel four times with water. That's nice. And add to the shaker. Uh, so you don't need any measuring cups, which is really nice uh, for the perfect amount of water. And then you add a, one fluid ounce of vodka. Is this, I guess you just kind of eyeball the, the fluid ounce. So I'm gonna carefully tear the top there right along the line, perfect. And I got my water bottle that I used to use, uh, I mean, I guess I still use it while camping because I thought, hey, this will be a good demonstration. It smells, oh, it smells almost like pickly. Smells like a pickle. Uh, we'll throw this into the bottom down there. That's all of that. Now I need to fill this Four, <laughs> four times, I'm using a red bottle with red mixture. <coughs> and it's kind of making me cough here. We're gonna take this and we're gonna fill that's, it right yeah, up that's, to that's the line. That's great that that's like the measuring cup. As yeah, much as we can. nothing else to pack. Okay. Ah, I missed. There you go, that's one. And that's before he drinks. And <laughs> number four. 
So that's the just the liquid amount in there. It ends up being about eight ounces for the mixer. And then I have some vodka here. So I'm just gonna eyeball an ounce, sure. So I got you know you can make this as strong as you want, I guess. Then you close it up and you shake for 15 seconds, as the instructions say. And we're done. I also cleaned up just a little bit. So uh, there's some residue in the bottle. I'm kind of really nervous to try this. I'm gonna just go ahead and pour it into this glass just so I can kind of see it a little bit better because it's really hard, difficult to tell what this looks like. So that is the Bloody Mary. And it's, it really smells like pickles, like quite a lot. They put a lot of pickle in this Bloody Mary. <laughs> um, it is spicy. I don't like it. Um, yeah, not a, not a fan. Uh, maybe that's not pickle. Maybe that's, that's um, oh yeah, yeah, no pickle. It says it right there on the side. Natural pickle flavor. Um, uh, you, this is not a great drink. Uh, it would, I guess, do. It would make your campouts feel a little bit more special that something else is going on. But um, no, not a, not a big fan. Okay, finally. Oh, how much the are they? Coffee pour. Oh, I'll, so, I'll say it at the end. Inside oh. of here, this should have everything you need to have a coffee pour over, including a device. Okay, I guess it doesn't really have any other instructions inside. Uh, they're all really on the back. So you tear open the pouch, you take this and you attach it to your mug, and then you can pour your 200 degree water into the coffee. It smells amazing. It smells absolutely gorgeous. I love that. So I'm just gonna tear this open, very easy to do. Then I'm gonna use these paper wings to fit one on one side and one on the other, there we go. And so now that yeah. is resting. I have some water that was boiling just before. So we can pour this inside. Is it gonna, is it gonna work? Oh, it's working. Oh, it is working. That is looking that's, good. Oh my yeah, God. That's very nice. This gadget works, ladies and gentlemen. That actually does work. Obviously, there's not a lot of space for the water. I do need to be aware. But instant coffee looks like. This actually it seems to be going pretty fast, a lot faster than I actually expected. Okie dokie. So I now have a full glass of coffee. Ah! If, if I was more practiced at this, I feel like I'd do a little bit better. And kind of use the paper to squeeze that out. It's very hot, obviously. And then I'll dispose of this coffee bag inside of the original packaging. And there we go, a hot cup of Joe. It's good, it's very good coffee. It's very hot and I like my coffee a little bit cooler than that normally, but I can tell that that is going to be a very good cup of coffee. So, happy with that one. Not happy with this one. This one, it is what it is. Um, I would say medium, medium happiness. So let's go through the prices uh, once again. The final straw, that was $20. So $20 for the final reusable straw. The pocket cocktails, this ended up costing $5 for the pocket cocktails. You get four packages. I've already used one. So you get four packages inside of that, so a little bit more than, you know, it's about $1.25 per cocktail. The coffee uh, pour over, this costs $2.50. So this is a strong recommendation, uh, medium recommendation, and a no recommendation from me. Back to you guys. Okay, so Chad, is it two two fifty for one cup of coffee? Yeah, two fifty for one cup. Glass of coffee, yes. Coffee, okay, okay. Yes, so here they are. I got them from um, REI. So here's the final straw. And oh, okay. All, all the different colors that you can get, the four colors. Here is the uh, cocktails, and then... You know, it's I'm, funny because Bloody Mary, I, I never associated a pickle taste with it. <laughs> I know! 
Is celery, it to be celery is tomato? fine. Say it again. Isn't it supposed to be mostly heav- heavily tomato flavored? Yeah. Yes, and that the and that the that the, the, the box says pickle flavor. Yes, it's kind of bizarre. It's incredibly bizarre. I, 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 it's like someone didn't know what a bloody Mary was. <laughs> I, I'm not joking. It it was the first thing when I opened that package. It was the first thing. It was like, wow, this is pickly. Um, it yeah. and then, uh, yeah, it, it didn't. It there was a there was definitely tomato there. There was definitely a pepper there. I mentioned it was spicy, but pickle overwhelmed all of it. So um, let's see if the reviews agree with me here. Um, Because I I wanna see, does anyone else say pickle? Laughably, (laughs) oh wait, oh, this is the Moscow Mule. Oh, that was the Mule. Version. Oh, that was more flavored like battery acid. (laughs) I was really hoping that it would be more <laughs> to a wall of the trail. It's awful. Nothing like a Bloody Mary. Yeah. Um, so anyway, that's that's that. This was amazing. Uh, so I ended up, after we recorded that video, um, making the coffee how I like. I like creamer and let it cool off a bit. I drank the whole cup. Amazing. It was, an, it was a great glass of coffee. So, um, oh, okay. That's good. So yeah. The coffee would recommend. And it... At two fifty, it that's not cheap. You know, it's like a, a big Starbucks um, drink. Sorry, my mic fell down. Um, so that's not cheap, but I don't think it's absurd either. You know, I could see. No, that. if you're if you're traveling uh, and you want to have coffee in the morning in a hotel room, it's certainly yeah. cheaper than ordering room service. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So that is the last of my drinking gadgets. Uh, for you guys. With that, Perfect. let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play in Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Oh. Okay, our video is from Mo, our most frequent and loyal contributor. And Mo simply says, guys, check out my new webcam and notice how he got an entire fleet of stand-ins to help him out. Hey, guys, love the show. (laughs) Please keep up the great work. I have a real quick video. Remember this webcam? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. Had the light this is another webcam I really want to share with you. It's the J5 Create 360 degree all around webcam. I'm going to try to make this for time's sake short and sweet. This is the meeting of four toys. The next toy conference, what are they going to do? What's <laughs> going to happen? Us. So they're all meeting together, but there's a lot of them. How do they all get in the same shot for Zoom? You're going to use the J5 Create 360 degree web camera. So this is the placement for 360 degrees. This is the placement for a 90 degree view. But let me show you how it looks at the other end, what the other people will see at this mode. Wow. This is what the other side is going to see. As you can see, everyone is in the shot. There are six modes you could do. It's not software. It's hardware. Everything works through the webcam. You plug it in, Windows 10, Mac. You press the button and it gives you the view that you want. It's really cool. Press this button here. This pops up and now we're going to do 360 degree full screen. Let's look how it, let's see how it looks up. You get a larger image image split into two and you still get everyone in the picture. All five characters. That's what the other end is seeing. Again, we press the mode button and we choose the next option, which is host mode. This is a touch bar here, and you're going to move it until you pick your host. Once you have your host in the video, you let go. We're going to choose Elvis as our host. So we'll just touch the bar until we get to Elvis. Okay, right there. So it'll be split into two. Everybody will be in the video on the top one. And, oh, Olaf is sleeping. (laughs) And Elvis will be the main person on the bottom. This is dual host mode. That way you have two hosts in the same shot. 
The next mode is the 90 degree mode, which is the boring one. You just flip it. We're going to make Elvis the 90 degree person. It gives you the standard boring webcam shot at 90 degrees. Let's say we need all three of these characters in the next shot. Wide angle, 120 degree shot. This will be the end of the video, but it's a really cool camera, really cool option if you have a large amount of people in a round table. All right, I hope you liked the video. I hope it helps. Thank you. Bye. That's that's incredible. That's actually crazy incredible. Um, I just, uh, that it's all done in hardware, so you don't have to install anything. Uh, so it, it, it's $100, so it's not cheap. Yeah, it went down. Cheap. When oh, did it? it was 120 uh, and now... Hundred. It's it's a hundred. Oh, that is amazing. The fact that it has a touch screen to like choose a host, the split screen stuff. I mean, it's like, this is a. I, I I'm really impressed. It's a fully thought out product. Very very cool. Um, and if you need a wider angle, uh, you can't find it. <laughs> Like, yeah, yeah. I can't think of a webcam that has a 120 degree viewing angle. So, and, and um, also, you know, uh, when you were putting it on the screen, it looks like it has one of those little connectors at the end that can be USB C if you need that. It looks like it's micro, but yeah. down at the bottom, yeah, or a. Uh, uh, yeah, it's micro. Yeah, they, or, yeah. Is that C? What is that? Oh, you know, I. Oh, it's either C or USB A, oh, right? Oh, that's USB C. Yeah. Yes. So there's USB C, and then you you have the adapter for A. So a. you could use this with a Mac uh, that you know, only has those USB C ports if you're on a MacBook, uh, yeah. or mini laptops. You know, now have the USB C. So that is all. Seriously, Mo, this is really impressive. Great. And that's very very cool. Um, yeah, if, 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 uh, what a what a cool gadget. So very neat. Very, very neat. Mo, that's great. And again, it's the J5 Cree 8 is the name of that camera. J5. And I'll also put a, a, a link to the uh, company's website if you want to go there too and read more about it. Uh, Mo, thank you. If you want to submit a video, I think we have two left. Uh, if you want to submit a video, anything to do with a gadget. It can be a brand new gadget like Mo did. It can be a gadget that's sitting in the attic of the cell. You haven't used it in 30 years. Mostly it, you have them because when you bought it, it was so important. And you probably paid so much money for it, you just can't throw it in the trash. Uh, make a little video, okay, one to three minutes, and uh, send us the link uh, to mail at gizwis.biz. And like Mo, just make sure it's horizontal. We can hear you and, and see the video. And um, you will get the Carn Issue of Mad Magazine. If you live in the U.S., if you live anywhere else in the world, send us a link to the video. And I will sign the now, the now 39-year-old Alfred E. Newman pictures. I'll autograph it to you, send you a high-res image for you to print out wherever you are. And... From two feet away, it looks like the original. Okay, mail at gizwiz.tv. Anything to do with a gadget. Send it in. With that, let's move on to the letter. Very interesting email from Gary Keith, who says... Someone is using a clip from one of your shows. It's the one about the butter slider. You're famous now. And he said, I subscribe to the channel and they use a clip of you slicing butter from Gizwiz TV, question mark. The strange thing is, um, it's a, a video called 15 gadgets for the totally lazy. And I watched the first two minutes and I'm in the first two minutes, but I'm not slicing butter. I'm doing something else. So you could start this like a minute in and. Oh, they also would do the, uh, that we did that. Oh, yeah. on the show. I think you did that, right? Yeah. The self stirring the, 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 mug. The mug. Okay. Now here's the butter thing, but this is not me. Yeah. 
Uh, you could, you so could play funny. the sound, I guess, okay. in, unless you think it's not good. I have no idea. Force into our knife in order to get out a decently <laughs> slice. <laughs> this voice. Butter cutter ensures that. See, I don't think this is us. This isn't. As it's essentially. No, it's not. I mean, I guess it says the person. Seamlessly chop butter at right the there. button. And all this little need in I think we've covered this before, but yeah, this is an hour. At a price of less than 15 bucks, this little machine is perfect for those who want their mornings to go just a little more smoothly. <laughs> 13. The Spinning Spaghetti Fork. Of all the pastas out there, spaghetti is universally considered <laughs> to be the messiest. This is a, After all, this, uh, spaghetti onto a fork can be This type of YouTube channel is just yes. hilarious. Or so they're, you know, they hire some guy to do it. There you are. Eliminates this problem Dick DiBartolo. Oh, the, my, our logo is covering it, but it does credit you down there in the corner. The, the, yes, it, yeah, so it doesn't bother me at all. And there's a quick shot of me food uh, at the end. Rotating a piece of chicken that is so funny. Eating it could be pretty entertaining as well. Therefore, if you think this inconvenience is worth the folks $30 <laughs> price tag. That is so funny. Also, by the way, they're named top five, and this is definitely a 15 list. So I don't know what this channel is thinking. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is just some content farm channel where... Yeah, uh, some... I mean, they stoop on my name, that's fine. Yeah, that is so funny. Molly Robotics made a that is uh, now now we should we credit them I guess we did we verbally we, said yeah. their name you know yeah exactly. Um, exactly that is so funny they're using our footage using our footage but that's fine <laughs> Gary Keith thank you for finding that for us um, na, 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 uh, oh okay and and uh, he said I'm I'm a Patreon of the show so thank Gary you. Keith thank you thank you thank you that's a good segue to just say to thank you to all those Patreon patrons. Especially you, Gary. Thank you so much. Uh, so uh, if you love the show, please consider giving back over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. For those of you who have given back, thank you so, so, so much for your support. We really appreciate it. Looking through the list, there's some of you who have been patrons for a very long time. Uh, and I just want to say really, really, really appreciate you guys who, uh, who stick with the show. Thank you so, so, so much. Um, do, did you have anything to say about the letter? Do we need to wrap up the letter at all? Oh, uh, I know. That was it. That was, was it? it. Uh, and apropos of, uh, Patreons next week is, uh, independent show 300. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And wow. this is show one of year 16. Yeah. This is the, <laughs> the, the start you of the 16th beat month. beat this podcast to death. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to the patrons. <laughs> that, yes, exactly. Yeah, it was almost six years. <laughs> Holy cow. Wow. It's amazing. Uh, uh, yeah, that is amazing. That is really cool. Well, thank you all so much for watching. If you want to catch the show live, head on over to gizwiz.tv. Uh, there you can see the show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. And the website will just update just a little bit before 7.30 if you want to catch it. And then join the chat room down below to, uh, to see all the shenanigans and talk to all the rest of the fans that are there. If you don't watch it live, you can catch it on our website or on our iTunes page, podcast page, RSS feed, YouTube channel, or of course just our website has all the episodes there as well. If you want to learn more about the gadgets that we talk about on the show, head on over to gizwiz.biz, that's Sticky D's website. He writes up fantastic articles about all of the gadgets. While you're there, play What the Heck Is It? It's the game show online. We got just about a month. Wait, no. Is this the last? No, yeah, soon. Oh my gosh. This is the, this, this is the last moments. Uh, so get your guesses in. Uh, this is the whole gadget. This is what you're trying to guess. What is it? No logos. This is the whole gadget, not just a piece. So get a guessing. And uh, this is obvious to me uh, that this was a fashion trend of really, really square-toed boots. Like really square-toed boots. Uh, so if you think you know what this <laughs> is, get a guessing over at gizwiz.bez. 
Six Mad Magazines for correct answers, 12 Mad Magazines for funny, clever, hilarious, and interesting answers, and this is what you're playing for, these Mad Magazines. So get a guess in, right now, if you're listening to this and you haven't guessed yet, this is your last chance, so get over there. Uh, with that, that about wraps up our show, so we'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>